Hello? <clears throat> it's Daddy Abdullah. I'm going to talk uh, about religion and spirituality. I wrote this book a few years ago called Their Gods. Their Gods is about all the religions in the world. That's about six, seven, eight hundred pages about all the religions in the world. And I talked about them and they're all, every religion's got something good to say. They're not, they're not all good, they're not all bad. There's no religion that's perfect and there's no religion that knows it all. And there's no religion that's all wrong. Man looks on the outward appearance and God looks on the heart. So keep that in mind whenever you study religion. It's an outward thing. Inwardly, that's where God is. That's where God lives. So I wrote this book and I kind of, I got to tell you the truth, I kind of clobbered religion because, you know, guess who else didn't like religion? A friend of mine, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 2,000 years ago, he went around ripping the shreds off of religious coverings. He did not like religion, and religion did not like him either. A couple thousand years ago, Jesus was crucified, hung on a cross, because he dared to say that he was with God, equal with God. And he was right. He was equal with God, and he came to teach us that we all have God within us, and that we're all part of God. That was his lesson. He didn't say, pray to me. He said, pray to my Father. Now, after the book was written, people criticized me. They said, well, you sure have a lot of criticism to say about religion. And I did. It's a very critical book. So then... I wrote this one, even bigger, my heresies. Now the word heresy means 350 years ago they would have burnt me at the stake for saying what I said. They'd have burnt me and made me a toasted marshmallow. But they can't today in America because we're free, we're free, of, free to speak, freedom of speech. But 51% of the world, you're not free to say what you think. So we are in America and we are in certain parts of Africa, but not everywhere are we free to speak. I wrote this book and here's the, the most devious picture of me I could find. Take a look. Kind of looked devilish, didn't I? But I wrote this book to say, this is what I think is the answer. My heresies is about the idea that we shouldn't be religious, but we should choose to be spiritual. I believe that Jesus was spiritual. I believe that the masters, the great teachers, are more spiritual and less religious. Nothing wrong with going to church, but you can have church right in your home. Somebody asked me if I went to church today, and I said I never left church, and I also never left my home. Do you understand? But I want to tell you, I am not a religious person. I'm a follower of Jesus. Jesus was not a religious person. I like to think I'm a spiritual person. I'm not bragging about it. I just say that I pursue spiritual pathways. It's all about the spiritual. It's the mind, the body, the social the spiritual, the spirituality of life. You cannot live a full, successful, meaningful, purposeful life if you leave the spiritual out. You cannot do it. You've got to keep the spiritual in your life. 
And when you don't, you'll suffer because you'll be imbalanced. You'll have your mind, your body, your social, but you won't have your spiritual. You'll be imbalanced. You walk like this. Instead of this. Don't do that. Live a balanced, purposeful, meaningful life. Live close to God. Commune with God every day. Prayer is not just a speech. We don't just make a speech to God. We commune with God. We connect with God. Somebody said, do you pray every day? I say, I pretty much stay in the condition of prayer every day. I stay with an awareness that God's right there with me every day through the good stuff and the bad stuff. I want you to try to remember some of these things I teach in the lessons about the foundations of philosophy, the foundation of your philosophical worldview, your view of the world, your philosophical approach to life. That's what we're trying to get for you. That's why I'm working 16 hours a day, seven days a week at this with you guys. Trying to recruit you, trying to get you into the classes, trying to have you watch the videos, trying to teach you, trying to show you, trying to give you guidance, trying to give you my love. And there's others with me trying to do it too. A wonderful staff that's working right alongside of me. So God bless you and God be with you. In fact, Kind of a funny thing to say God be with you you don't really have to say God be with you because God's always with us God can't not be with you God doesn't know how to not be with you God's always there always there you're always with God no matter what. And that's the blessing of life. That we're from God before we were. And when we're done being what we are, trapped in this body, red, yellow, black, and white, we're going back to what we've always been. We're going back to the spiritual. Don't forget that. Don't forget that today. I love you guys so much. I always say that at the end. I love you guys so much. I hope you watch these videos. I hope you think about the thoughts in them. I hope they touch deep inside.